Hello and welcome to yet another video. In this video we are gonna check for the collisions between the coin object and the player. This is what we have created so far. Basically a player that is affected by gravity, he can jump. We change the background color. We made coins go through the screen and come back. And they are also animated, they spin around. So what we are gonna do is, first of all, we are gonna create a new rectangle in our coin object and our player object. We're gonna do this first. We're gonna create a void object called get bounds. And it's gonna return the rect x, y, x plus width, y plus height. I'm gonna have to import. No, sorry, we already did that. Though we're gonna have to create a new variable called private int height and just for the sake of it we're gonna create another m oh, column height equals to 1 we're gonna set the height to bmp dot get height divided by our m column height Sorry about that, we're going to create public rect get bounds instead. We're going to return the rect at the x, y position, and the x plus width and the y plus width. Basically this is going to be the bounds of our sprite of the coin. Just going to change everything to this, return new rect. And we're gonna do the same for our player object. Just above the undraw method. We're gonna have to create the width and <coughs> create the width and the height of the player too. Private int width. And we're also going to create the uh, column height and column width. I'm going to set them to 1 for the time being. And we're going to set our width to the bmp.get width of the player divided by m colon width now I believe this should work or not oh we need to change our float to int. There we go. We're going to create a new boolean. boolean. We're going to call it check collision. And it's going to be between the rectangle player, player R for rectangle, and the rect coin R. And it's going to return rect.intersect. This is a command that checks if the two triangles intersect each other, each other. In other words, if they collide. So we're going to check between the player and the coin R. And we're gonna set this dot player equals to player. This dot coin R equals to coin R. And we're gonna have to define them. Private direct player coin R. 
we're gonna have to move our uh, move over to our game view yes and here we're gonna check for collision mm, for every coin object we're also gonna create the two rectangles payer and the coin r we're gonna set them to coin r dot get bounds coin dot get bounds we're gonna make a small change to our for loop in our undraw method we're gonna make a new variable int i then we're gonna set it to zero if it y is less than coins dot size the array size of of our array list over which we got over here. So if i is less than the size of it, we're gonna make i plus plus. And we're gonna do coin dot get coins dot get i. Basically this gets the position of our coin object that is currently being drawn. And we're gonna put it over here too to get the bounds of our object and we're gonna make an if statement if our coins that get we're gonna check for collision in our coins that get die between the player and the coin R which we defined here the boundaries of our rectangles if this happens we're just gonna for now make the coin object disappear so we're gonna do this by taking coins dot get i, getting the position of the current current coin object that's being collided with. Dot uh, dot, 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 dot Oh, coins dot remove and the i location. So we only have one problem, it is that our coins are being drawn way too high. So we're gonna change the values of this to maybe 600, 650. And we're gonna try and run our little game to see if it actually works that the coins disappear. So let's take a look. Well, it worked, though it wasn't so clear because they were so close together. So we're gonna make it 550. Just so you can easier see that they actually disappeared one by one. So, what could we do with this collision checking? Well, basically, we could make anything we want to. We could create a power up which we pick and when we pick it up we change a variable. We may be immune to dying for a time. See one coin disappeared. And in the tutorial we're gonna actually add a, to the coins, the coin stack, which we're gonna hopefully make a shop out of later so we can shop new items. And we're gonna add to the score when we pick up a coin too. So when we got the collision cover covered, we can basically do most of the things you want to. I would just like to wish you all a Merry Christmas. In the next video we are going to create a text and it's going to be our score. We're also going to make a high score. And we're going to see if we have the time to actually save the score after the game. And also if you like gaming, games like WoW etc. Please check out, check out my brother's channel. The link is in the description. He's new to YouTube. And thank you again for watching, remember to comment if you liked the video, feedback is always welcome, have a nice day.